Hi everyone, my name is Caroline Sweezy and I have two sons that are E Street kids just like some of you. Garrett is in the fourth grade and Caden is in the first grade. When Garrett was in the third grade, he had a teacher that taught him all about affirmations and Garrett told me that he learned something very important through all of those lessons. He learned that what you say to yourself is how you will feel. Some examples of affirmations that you might say to yourself are things like, I am safe, or I am loved. You might say, I am kind, or I am strong, or I am unique. Did you know that there is an affirmation in the Bible that God wants us to know and understand and tuck deep inside our heart? It is Psalm 139, 14. It says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. Now we know those works very well because those wonderful works are us. And the word fearfully doesn't mean that we need to be afraid of how God made us. It means, wow, God, I'm amazed at how you made me. You're in awe of it. He made each of us special and unique in God's divine image. So I want us to take this scripture, tuck it into our hearts, and help let it, allow it to guide us into this week before us. So something that we're going to do with this scripture is every morning when you wake up, I want you to stand in front of a mirror, any mirror in your house, or you can even use the mirror that was given to you in the Lenten packet from church. And I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and I want you to say this scripture. I want you to remind yourself, look at yourself and say, thank you, God. Thank you for the unique ways that you made me. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Then, as silly as it might seem, I want you to give yourself a high five. We cheer for other people all the time. We should also be cheering for ourselves. To wake up and start your day and cheer for yourself as you partner with God to go out into the world to spread his goodness and light everywhere that you go. So let's go into this week speaking really kind things to ourselves remembering that we are fearfully and wonderfully made as we go around and share that with others. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for teaching us how to speak kindness into our hearts by sharing with us a scripture that is an affirmation that tells us to say, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Help us to tuck those words deep inside our heart. Help us to begin our day speaking love and kindness to ourselves and cheering ourselves on so that we can go and serve you and be positive and stand tall, knowing that every single part of us was made special and unique for a reason. In your name we pray, amen. So I hope all of you carry this with you. Remember to have a wonderful week because you are wonderfully made. High five.